for the next part of the project you're going to need some specific things so you're going to need a set of oil pastels I have quite a large set yours might be much smaller but it doesn't matter you can do this project just as well with 10 oil pastels or with 50 oil pastels which surprisingly is what I have here and you're also going to need some of these these are cotton buds now these are bamboo cotton buds that I'm using today and I'm using those because there's no plastic in them and therefore they will biodegrade quite easily and they won't damage the sea if they get into the sea or hurt animals because there's no plastic in them and you're also going to need the mystery ingredient which is baby oil that's what I've got in this little bowl here you could just put some in a yogurt pot and you can buy baby oil from any supermarket or chemist usually and I'm going to show you what we're going to do but before I do that if you can have a little bit of an experiment this is just a scrap piece of paper that I have and I experimented here by using oil pastels and baby oil I'm just going to show you what I did so I took a yellow and then an orange i think i have two different oranges so i did use two different oranges but if you only have one that's okay because it will work just as well and what i'm doing is i'm just adding those colors now i am going over very slightly to blend them so here i have yellow yellow orange orange red orange and red so I have two primary colours, red and yellow. I have yellow orange and red orange, which are tertiary colours. And then I have orange, which is a secondary colour in the middle. It's really useful to know all your colour ranges. Then, and you can see the one that I used, it's got some oil pastel on it. I dipped this into the baby oil. Now, I don't want loads and loads on there because I don't want my picture to be greasy and I used a tiny circular motion to begin to mix all those colours together and when I could feel it dragging a bit on the paper I went back and got another little bit of baby oil and look at that and I can also create like some now you can see that the colours actually coming out much lighter so I can create some tonal gradients as well not just chromatic scales which is where I'm changing from one color to the next to the next which are all quite rich there but by only having a tiny bit and a little bit more baby oil I can actually create some very subtle tonal gradients which is where my shade is getting lighter or darker as you can see here so you have you stop and have a little practice yourself on your bit of scrap paper before you start the main project once you have your drawing fully done you're going to begin from the middle and work out because that will help us to stop smudging and we're going to be using warm colors for the rose and cool colors for the outside which is going to represent the leaves and the foliage in the garden now on a rose the darkest part will be down towards the center of the rose where the light isn't able to reach and the lightest bits will be the tips of the petals so we're going to begin with red in the middle and I'm just going to put some around our very first shape to start with. So I'm going to very carefully, it is a little bit tricky in the middle to start with, but it does get a lot easier as you work your way around into the larger shapes, which is why I said not to make any of them too small. So I'm going to take some orange up to the next layer, and then I'm going to add just a little bit of yellow as well there we go now what I'm going to do then is I'm going to use my cotton bud and I'm going to quickly blend that in before I move on so I'm just going to leave the center for the minute and I'm using those tiny little 
movements, little circular movements I've found are best so that I can just blend those in to the edges and it creates that lovely soft velvety smoothness that you get with a rose. So now I'm going to do the next, do that again for the next petal. Now here I'm going to put the darker colour there again and I'm actually going to bring it up there because where it's lapping over it would be darker too. Turn up the sides very slightly. I'm going to do this one as well. Now I'm going to try and leave almost a tiny gap where the lines will come for the new petals and then it will become obvious why later because we're going to need to go around those with a black oil pastel. So I'm going to go back. I always begin with the at the bottom and blend in. I don't want to go over all that yellow. I want it to be a little try not to get too much oil on your cotton bud but if you feel it start to drag you've probably not got quite enough you'll soon get the feel of it oh, if you think you have got too much then just wipe some off onto your paper towel remember paper towel is very useful for that there we go I'm just going to blend in those edges slightly and you can see our rose is beginning to come together. 